so I got a part two because I know I said some things sometimes we attract who and what we are but sometimes uh, what they say the light it attracts everything what's good what's bad the moths the flies the butterflies so sometimes and you know we you're hearing about all this red flags red flags a lot of times we will ignore the red flags um and you might be a good kind-hearted person but you wind up attracting somebody that is really not who and what you are um and they've just come to take advantage of you know some of your naivety or i can speak from my own experience and i was thinking about this earlier too like girl you wanted to be in the relationship so bad you know that you we will find ourselves compromising and what i've been really meditating on this week is that how a person treats you is really uh how they feel about you they don't have to tell you like a lot of people you know like my love language is affirmations and you want to hear it you want somebody to tell you you're so beautiful and i love you and this and that you know but i have attracted people who um some of them have been the affirming type but some of them have been um they, they it's more about the action which is good but if a person makes you feel a certain way about yourself they make you feel less than you know they don't they don't really do anything extra to show how they really feel or, or care about you that is a pretty good indication of of you know how they feel about you you know um so yeah i just wanted to, to add that on to it that like yeah uh sometimes we attract people um and you know who who aren't good for us and we have to get out of our and i'm not speaking for everybody i'm just talking i'm just talking <laughs> get out of the desperation energy like you know because you're not desperate you're not desperate you know you got it going on and sometimes you have to remind yourself of that you know and and stop settling and just compromising for any type of type of treatment you know if you know a certain way you want to be treated so like for me i know how i don't want to be treated right because I know that how I've been treated, how it made me feel. And it didn't make me feel good about myself. And it's like, come on now. Because, you know, you got to be treating, treating yourself good, too. And if a person is not treating you how you treat yourself or better, then that's, that's something to think about. That's something to think about. And then it's not even a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. Once again, it's a reflection of them. It's a reflection of how they feel about you. They may just be emotionally immature, you know? So that's it. And they may not have enough emotional maturity to be able to love and treat you the way you deserve and the way that you desire. And that's what you want. You want to date and you want to marry someone who makes you. I had this because I was going to make it as a quote this week. <laughs> date and marry someone. Oh, that's what it was. You date and marry someone who treats you as the queen that you are. But you have to be carrying yourself as the queen. You have to model for people how to treat you. All right, I'm done. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.